guys, I'm going to do a standing unwrapping, unboxing, packaging today. I'm trying a new brand that shipped very fast from a normal US vendor. It is from a, well, I said a new brand already, but it is, oh, I, okay, I get it. Uh, V-A-U-X, Vau, Vox. It's from the Cell Block 13, which I recognize that brand, but I, I guess this is like a sub-brand. They have V-A-U-X. Got a, two items. And you'll know if you've been watching my videos a bit this year that I'm in, into matching tops and bottoms because I think it's fun. So yeah, so this is cellblock13.net, designed in Los Angeles. Copyright Timo Tio, probably another brand. It's the corporate brand made in China. They got three different names they're using here. Easy to follow, eh? So let's get to the point. I got a Mirage Crop Tank in Navy, large, and a Mirage Side Tie Swim Thong in large, 32 to 34 inches. It arrived super fast. I will, let's just see, let's, okay, let's go for it. Let's go for the tie side here. The Vox Mirage Side Tie Swim Thong. I didn't necessarily want another side tie, uh, but they had, this is what they had. They had some short shorts that had a jocks in it, and they had a bikini as well, which all those are okay. But I kind of think the thongs are a bit more fun. Look how small that is. How tight they tied it. This is large. What's going on? I have to retie this now. Look how fancy the ties are done to redo it. I can tell the quality is pretty good just by the, the thickness of the fabric right away. So it's got this, it's navy with gold sparklies in there. I can feel the pouch is probably a double layer. It's got a G-string back, but it has these multiple layers to it. Okay. It has a bit more design in the back, if you can see that up close. And it's got a metal bar with the logo here. And it has inside another stamp brand again, the washing details. This one is 67% nylon, 27% wire. I don't even know what that means. 6% spandex wire. How would it be wire? Yeah, I would have preferred just a regular thong. I'm kind of at my limits on the tie side stuff. I know a lot of you guys, these are kind of like a love hate thing. Like some, a lot of people think they're really hot. Others think they're too feminine. I, I'm kind of indifferent. My complaint is there, it's more of a pain in the butt to put on. They're real slow to put on. That's my issue. So I also got this matching top. It's more of a crop top. It is, it is Vox Mirage crop top. And I have to say that I, I really just wanted this. Like this was the main item that I wanted and that looks big. I can tell the quality is different on this stuff. It's a bit thicker. Man, I don't even know that's gonna fit me. Like how big that is. I always say this, but it fits fine. In the pictures, it looked a little bit longer than many uh, other similar items. A little bit of loose cloth there, loose string. 
It's got that cool navy. Large is my normal t-shirt size. I'd probably buy them a bit oversized. Probably could wear a medium, but I've been buying large for ages. This looks really big though. Okay, this is also 67% nylon, 17% wire, and 6% spandex. Okay, it's got the big logo across the bottom. It's got the metal bar again. What else does it have? I like the gold sparklies. They had this in black and white as well. You guys want me to try some of these on? Now that's gonna take me forever to retie this thing. So, I need to put my microphone elsewhere. I guess put on my hat. Nice and cool looking. Try to get it near the hip bone. Top. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that tag off. All right. Dang, that is crazy pants. It's a large and it's loose. Look at that. Here's what it looks like with jeans. This is dangly. Well, it's kind of comfortable. I'm not the smallest guy, but I'm not the biggest guy either, but it has like probably an inch of, inch and a half of looseness. If it was loose like this, but it went down a little further, that would be ideal. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Should it be tight or not, guys? This is more comfortable. And I'm glad I didn't order two of them. And you guys are going to have to vote on this one. Is it too loose? Or should it be tight here? All right, guys, I wore this set for some uh, photo shoot. I did the unboxing, I put it on. I did some photos, did some videos. Hopefully you guys know where to find that stuff at this point. Check my link tree if you don't. But um, some fun, fun photos. I'll have to say that the thong, the G-string tie side is, it's the best uh, tie side that I own. It's good quality. It uh, has multiple layers, it has some thickness to it, which is good. Um, it has some weight, so it just feels a bit more high quality. The thicker ropes make it easier to tie. Um, it is a bulge pouch that was pretty comfortable. It's not too big and it's not too small. Uh, if um, it, There's not a whole lot of loose fabric. I thought the gold and navy design was pretty neat. I think the back with the extra these ropes or just cloth that makes it a fun design. I am seeing a little bit of loose threads, but seems okay. Uh, this the top, sorry, the bottom was a lot of fun. The top, I'm, I don't know what to think of. It's it's very comfortable. Um, most of these tops are tight, meaning they uh, this bottom elastic is tight around your ch lower chest or upper stomach and that's kind of thought it, that's what i thought i was buying um and those have some drawbacks in that they kind of push things down and out and doesn't always make me look great but i like the concept of having a top and a matching bottom this thing is so wide it fits around my chest tight but where it hits like right here um, it's loose. It's probably like an inch and a half to two inches of extra elastic. It's just outright loose. That being said, it's comfortable. It might be based. So I'm a bit undecided on, on this one. Is it supposed to be like that or not? It, but that being said, it's comfortable. So I'm a bit torn on what to do with it. I maybe prefer, prefer a little bit of a looseness. 
So let me know what you think, wrapping this up. It, these are a little pricey, um, but uh, they're fun design. I like the sparkle. Um, they take good photos, good videos, check those out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, check out my YouTube uh, membership program. If you want to support the channel a little bit, there's a little bit of extra older videos on there. I want to set expectations, expectations correctly. There's not much there, but if you just feel like supporting me and what I'm doing with this channel, check out the YouTube memberships. Another way to do it is Patreon. I give you a little bit of behind the scenes photos of me wearing this stuff on that, but then my OnlyFans is where it's all at. Uh, kind of a lot of content. Uh, I tend to do part two and three videos of what I do on YouTube. So if you're interested in any of those different things, they're at different price points, different content levels. Thank you.